What's up? Not only are we back in Marbella, back in Paddle. Last video you would have seen it would be a Texas vlog. Okay, we're back with Blaz. First of all, the man behind the camera. What's up? <laughs> Boom. We're back with Joey D, Antoine. We got a great crew here in Paddle. The weather's beautiful. We're about to hit a hush workout by the look of things. And we've got some cool other things planned as well. Most of all, Villa Lipset, okay? I spoke about it in Mexico, how I bought a villa. It's currently being built. Right now, we got the kind of like gutsman done, kind of gutted it out. Now the fun bits start, okay? So we're gonna go check it out after this. And that's gonna be the kind of like new series is renovating my dream villa. So we got lifting, we got property, we got the good life, we got everything. So let's get into the video. That is my warm up. Can't miss your bitches working way. It's enjoyed by Lord. <laughs> If you want a, a big property in a, a good location, like near Puerto Venus or whatever, uh, it's probably going to be an old renovation project, really. You're not going to get a brand new villa near Puerto Venus for a good price, you know? So, but, that, but that's it, you know? You can flip it and make some money on it. Who knows, right? So a few locals down here. So everyone here is, you know, Irish and English, so really don't feel homesick ever. Someone messed me being like, hey, are you working with Marbella Tours? Are you running to <laughs> No, there, yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah Philips is the HQ. But no, it's, it's set like an, a, a domino effect that like when someone moves out in an industry, other people move out. It's like when everyone went to Dubai in November last year, you know? It's like just, uh, yeah, it's just people going, you know? good when you kind of come to the bottom it like pulls it apart really good number two Paris number three Dublin 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 <laughs> no, no no but it's like okay London Paris I get it you know historic cities Dublin where did that come out of it's it's crazy so we're just talking about how mad the property prices are in in Paris and Dublin it's it's nuts Baz just asked the age-old question are we finally competing this year so last time we saw each other it was just before the pandemic, you know, when everything just got shut down. I was on day 30 out of 90 of my prep. It was going super well. Now, everything back to normal, everything's open again. It is, what is it, February 15th? Yes, it is Valentine's Day. So that would give us February, March, April, May. Perfect timing until all the competitions are on. Most are around, like kind of summer and stuff. And I think, you know, I think I'm, I'm in a good, I'm in a good place for it, like, you know? I'm feeling lean. Three months, it could be done. Now that I got Blast here, <laughs> comment below, what do you think? It could finally be the time. You know, one last time, so. Yeah, if there's ever time and a place as well. Imagine prepping in Marbella. This is the one, it's feeling good. So a little mental cue that I use is to make sure you're getting depth, right? I almost tap the inside of the dumbbell off my chest and so that's kind of the little mental cue that i have that i know my range of motion is deep enough because we've all seen it we've seen the half wrappers you know they're, they're pretty much doing tricep extensions so that's something i do you'll probably notice it if you even uh, look closely that so the inside there touches my chest just ever so slightly so just something i do obviously don't bang it off your chest you're gonna throw off your balance. Just a little touch, a little tap. Just make sure you're going all the way. Right, see, right down there. Can't go any deeper so people can't talk shit. <laughs> Last year was like my best year of training, without a doubt. I think like the, about this time last year, February, March, April, I pretty much didn't drink because all the clubs in Marbella were closed. But then all the gyms were open here. So, and all the gyms were closed in UK and Ireland. So I had a jump start. you know what I mean? 
Yeah, so yeah, I want to get that back. So you know, I let the boys just go do a little bit of legs, and then I, I resume. Didn't do any, but yeah, I just, <laughs> but thank you for the honesty. Yeah, <laughs> just got rid of you for ten minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time out. So yeah, I see these guys doing fly, so it's time for me to resume the workout with them. Just wait by the fly machine. Yep. Let's go, come on, Joe. Go, 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 go. Come on. I weighed myself today, it was like 78 kg. Okay. So I'm not sure what that is in pounds. Usually it's like about 168, 169. I need to do um, consistent weigh-ins again. Uh, that's the most accurate way so you know which direction you're going is. Weigh yourself every morning, fasted after you go to the bathroom as well. <laughs> Big one. And um, take a weekly average. And with females, you actually want to take a monthly average. So you got the time of the month. Uh, water weight will fluctuate a lot due to that. Um, so look at things in a bigger picture. A lot of people, they will focus on their day-to-day -day weight and they get really caught up in it and that'll wreck their head and the scale can you know, mess with their mind and all this. So what I advise my clients to do, what everyone to do is um, weigh yourself daily but take averages, okay? And as long, it's like the stock, stock market, you know? It's like, it's like you're gonna have dips and things but as long as it's going in the right direction, you know what I mean? Like, like a graph. Those uh, Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, no, that's like, whoosh, <laughs> More like the S&P 500. <laughs> yeah. A lot of analogies between the stock market and fitness I've now realized after, after a year and a bit of doing this shit. <laughs> Joe cut his hair was one of the happiest days of my life. <laughs> Even at Lincoln Park playing now. <laughs> Get big and follow your dreams. Uh, be Rob Lipset. <laughs> So a little mental cue that I like to do with these, again, it's not something you have to do, it's just something I like to do, is to really maximize the squeeze, okay? Act as if you're pretty much bringing the barbell up to your forehead, okay? Squeeze, contract as much as possible. So I get in this position and boom, right up there. So you can see my biceps at peak contraction. Whoa. It's like so. Oh. It's like the opposite of a skull crusher. <laughs> Alright, last set. Another cool little variation for people to try. It's kind of like a preacher curl. You lock in your arms. So again, you put your elbows on the inside of your knees. Let's see if we've been able to do this. Oh, just like that. Oh. So it keeps your elbows completely locked in place. Oh. Oh. Let's do two more. One more. Oh my God. That is a solid upper body workout today. Yeah. I've got to see Max recently, I got to see Christian, you know, Max yourself, is, Max is so funny. Joe, like it feels kind of like the world is normal now because yeah, I yeah. can see all my friends. Again, at least. Yeah, Louis, everyone in Tulum. So yeah. Nature is healing. Yeah, nature is healing. <laughs> nature <laughs> is healing. It's definitely like the main thing to do in Houston. Like, you know, it's like a tourist attraction now. I swear to God. It's been doing really well. Yeah, it's With been doing really well. The branding. It's full, like it's full. So yeah, no, he's killing it. Right, first winter swim going down right now. This is gonna be ice cold. Don't let the sun and the weather and the blue skies fool you. But one thing I do love is cold water. Once you get in, okay? You know, obviously it's not nice at the beginning, but once you're in there, it's amazing. Wim off method, big into it, cold showers, love it. But this is the first winter swim. We don't have an ice bath, so this should make do. And it's definitely like once you jump into like the 40 foot in Ireland in the IRC, like everything else, just it's a walking park. You ready, Joe? Takes cold shower once. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This video Take, about Wim Hof method. Yeah. <laughs> Takes cold shower once. Yeah, I do them every day. Changes it to cold for 10 seconds. Yeah, yeah. At, at, at the end. <laughs> about you know Marbella you go to the gym you do an ice swim afterwards 
get some sun. That's what actually made me want to move here is living the kind of nice, healthy, fit lifestyle. Obviously, the biggest, some of the biggest clubs in the world, fine dining, you can drink yourself silly, but what it kind of makes you like it here is doing stuff like this. So I've been to Marbella all my life, but this is the first time I've gone and lived here and started kind of, you know, focusing on my fitness and you love the place a lot more. Like when you're hung over or something, you want to go home. You know, like when you're like beat that and it's day four and you're going out every day, you're like, get me home. But if you go somewhere, you're productive, you know, you stay in shape. That's when you fall in love with the place. So that was amazing. I'm feeling great. Yeah. Nice and nice and lean now as well after that. You know, you get all you get all like tensed up after a swim. So Anton's I'm saying aquarium. that the water is 18 degrees, but it's 18 no degrees way. outside. Yeah, yeah. Probably not 18, but like not close to 10. Like probably closer to 15. Under 10. Under 10. Under 10. Under 10. That was never, like never. Okay. cold. 100 cold. 100 cold. That was like I the same as Ireland. I bet 100, 100 yeah. euros with you yeah. both. Okay, if it's, uh, if it's under 10, 100. Okay, okay. 100. we're gonna research I'll take that. what is the sea temperature. No, 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 no. In Port tomorrow of the we're gonna buy a thermometer, we come back, <laughs> dip yeah. the thing inside, yeah, yeah. and then <laughs> I'll be holding the two. Like, I'll take, I'll take the that bet. Yeah, yeah, we'll take that bet, yeah. We'll see, see you for bet. dinner on Saturday then. <laughs> I will take second place. I like twice. I will gladly take second place. All I care about is beating Joe. <laughs> nice, right, nice. Right. I've been racing. Oh, nice. we, have, we have to swap positions in this video. Oh. Right? Okay. <laughs> Alright guys, so welcome to Villa Lipset. As you can see, it's a work in progress. This is phase two. I have all the footage, the before footage of phase one. Well everyone, welcome to my crib. I just bought my first ever property. It's a little bit of a fixer-upper. So I'm gonna show you the before now. Anyways, give you a house tour, show you the before. Say what I'm gonna gonna do to it. And yeah, this is gonna be the next little project on this YouTube channel, doing up my first home, designing my dream villa. Castle Lipsetti. Let's go on in. First of all, it's a three, four bed villa at four minutes from Port of Anus. The reason I say three, four bed, there's a room that I'm still trying to decide if I make it into another bedroom or an office. But either way, there's a lot of space for little old me. Basically, um, one of the main benefits of moving to Marbella, obviously it's an amazing place, the weather's perfect, but there's no way I could get a house for this price in Dublin. So I said, if I'm gonna get somewhere here, I wanna make it a detached villa. I want everyone away from me. So this is it. Casa Gisela must be what it's originally called, now it's called Castle Lipsetti. So there's the main entrance in here. We got a really big courtyard. And so we're installing the new kind of look, aluminium black windows to make it really modern. Originally it had the bars that are pretty typical in Spanish houses, which are nice and are also great for protection, but I also want to make the house look really modern, open, spacious, and a lot of glass. So as you come in here, there'll be two really big windows and we've also enlarged them. So they were about that size. We've brought them out a couple of feet. So we're actually gonna keep these grounds, these floors. Um, when they're really clean and really nice, they actually look very authentic, very Spanish and I actually really like them. So the first thing is the main entrance. Actually, no, the first thing is this. <laughs> Miguel. Like I, the previous owners were artists, okay? And they had an obsession with cows and other strange drums. Can we get a zoom in on that? What is going on over there? It looks like me grabbing Linda's hair. So we've called him Miguel, and um, as much as I like Miguel, and I'm sure he's, he's a nice guy, the first thing is he is getting blasted off that wall, okay? So everything's gonna be smoothed out. All these utensils that I just, I don't know what they're for. This glass bottle. Again, that, that's all gonna go for that. Like, this, this rock? <laughs> What's the, what movie is that again? When they've got like a pet rock. But anyways, that's going to be gone too. So it's all going to be fresh paint on it. Nice white layout. Probably going to leave a few of these, maybe put fresh plants yeah, the plants are nice. Yeah. Miguel's been hitting calves too hard. Miguel has been hitting nothing but calves. <laughs> Just nothing but calves. Ah, oh, well, the chest is looking pretty good as well. <laughs> Miguel's actually pretty jacked. Anyways, so that's the first thing you see. And yeah, we're going to get rid of him. Sorry, Miguel. Maybe I'll get like a Miguel tattoo. One thing we think would be really cool 
is actually leave this here and put like a big, really nice glass door on it. Another option is to knock down all this and bring the house out, but I actually kind of like it. I think it's got yeah. a cool hallway. Like even if you have like a cool mirror here, it'd be pretty slick. This is where things get interesting. So this is the porch, this is the entrance, okay? And so obviously, this will be kind of all lit up, have some cool spotlights going up it, and it'll kind of like frame the house, if you get me. So we were gonna knock this down. We we're gonna knock down that wall and that wall, but they're actually supporting walls and they kind of frame up the house nicely. So instead of coming in and you're just straight away in the kitchen, there's a nice little porch for guests to walk through. Now remember, this house right now, it looks a bit, little bit funky, okay? But we're gonna make it ultra modern, ultra cool, already found a builder, really good architect, quote, everything, it's getting done. So we're gonna completely modernize everything. Now this is the main living space, okay? So this is gonna be the main thing. Now this wall was, just completely there. So we've knocked down this. There was like these black gates here. We've leveled it all out. As I said, we have a lot of cow paintings. There's Miguel's cousin, Carlos, <laughs> over on the wall there. We're gonna completely strip everything down, have it really minimalistic. New floors are getting done as well. A nice L-shaped couch here. TV in the middle. And this right here as well, we've completely opened up. This was like, a weird couch and window and we've just made another entrance completely so you can run directly through the house and this is going to be one big massive room we got an architect in and he approved this he said it should be okay this is basically right so come out here you'll see these support pillars here and he said it should be all right to completely get rid of this get rid of this get rid of that and bring the whole thing out to here so like if you can imagine that shape it's just perfect and it, it literally doubles the size of the room. So it's going to come out to here, going to be here and round here and then we're knocking down this wall as well. And so this is going to be the main part of the house. It's more or less an extension. So as you can see, this is currently an outdoor patio, but the wall is going to go all the way along here and this is going to be glass. This will be the main dining area. So this is all going to be one room and this is the main living space and a cool little thing around here as well so it's got a curved wall to it which i think adds a lot of character and then the dining room again with the crazy r will all be brought around and i actually really like the curve of the house very moody very aesthetic so i'm excited for that a lot of like ibiza villas or marbella villas they're just kind of square white blocks and they can look a little bit sterile so I like the shape of the house. It kind of adds a lot more character to it. I'm thinking like a nice big mirror here, maybe a little workspace, and then the dining table will go here looking out to the pool. So let's quickly go to the kitchen and bedroom one and two. We were gonna knock down this wall completely, but I'm not sure how safe it would be to do that. It's a supporting wall. And like I said, it kind of adds structure to the house. You know, I didn't want people to guess to come in and straight away, you know, you're in the kitchen, there's like a sink and a dishwasher there. So I kind of like how it divides things up. So again, you're gonna be looking out here. I'm thinking, this is also being extended out by the way. So I'm thinking that we're gonna have all the, you know, utensils, the cooking stuff here. We'll have the sink here and then fridge and storage here. So it's a nice big kitchen and we've got a lot of lighting here for the cooking videos, so it looks good. And then here is bathroom one. There is two and a half or three bathrooms. I'll get to that later. But so this is gonna be bathroom one. Again, ultra modern, uh, LED light around the mirror, really clean looking. The architect said that we could knock down this wall. You could still do that in a few years time. We're gonna knock down this wall and make it one big massive living space. But you know, with the outdoor area being converted, how big does it need to be? So, and you do need a bathroom on the ground floor. Then down here is the two bedrooms. This is bedroom one and two. So I'm not sure which one is bigger. I, I think, I think they're both double beds. You know, there's double bed in both of them. I think this one's slightly bigger and this also overlooks the pool. One bedroom here, again, strip it all out. So the ma master bedroom is upstairs. That is where we're gonna be sleeping the most, but probably a lot of nights where we'll just be like, ah, you know, I'm just gonna crash downstairs and not ours going upstairs. <laughs> That's peak laziness, isn't it? <laughs> but so this is the two bedrooms. So 
Plus, you will be uh, absolutely staying in one of these this summer. <laughs> exact same in this room. Have modern wardrobes, new windows. That's one of the first things we're getting done. And yeah, another double bed in here. That's the ground floor. Now uh, let's go outside. So the outside is <laughs> safe there as well. Unfortunately, there was no gold when we uh, when we cracked it open. Uh, no Bitcoin either. So we come outside, and this is definitely the best part of the house. The architect also said so. If you come around here. You'll see that's the living room and just this random space here. He was like, you could just put it going straight down and then that would give you a few extra meters on the inside. So here's a little clue of what will be going here. Not really a clue as it's actually written on the wall, but we're gonna put a jacuzzi here. So we're looking at a few different brands. I think we got one in mind, but something, a hot tub right here is what's gonna happen. We were gonna put like decking or grass or just put tile completely over it, but I think it would be cool to use this space as a feature. So hot tub most likely going here. My favorite part of the whole house has to be the outside. Like it's just absolutely huge. It's huge. Like you can play hide and go seek down right here. It's great. And then, so the pool is absolutely huge, okay? It's like one of the biggest parts of the whole house. We even got a shower that we'll be replacing with a nice matte black one. But this was a huge selling point for us. A lot of villas in Marbella, they don't actually come with pools or a lot of the ones we're looking at don't. And you have to build it yourself. So the fact that, you know, it's a perfect working pool obviously needs a little clean, but that was just a huge deal for us. And as you can see, it's like the size of the bottom floor. It's absolutely massive. This swimming pool is of course getting cleaned out. Uh, renovated, renewed, but the swimming pool is absolutely huge. Like It's like the size of the house, it's insane. We're gonna put some lights in that, make it really cool. And uh, we also leveled out all this over here. So you can see there was this big massive box over there that like led to nothing. It was like random storage. We've leveled that out and then we're gonna do the same. So as you can see, like here's a step, here's a step, here's a step. This is all just gonna be flat and look really clean, so it's all gonna be flat right up into the pool. This is all gonna be one level. It's all gonna be very simple, like that table over there. It's like it's like a half table. I'm like, did they build this just for that? Like, it, there's so many questions, you know? <laughs> Anyways, it's gonna be super simple. And we're still trying to figure out what to do down there as well. It's in like a nice big palm tree, but there's like a lot of space down in the corner that, you know, it's not a priority right now, but we will sort out eventually. I'm gonna leave that palm tree there, very cool. Um, but I definitely think there's something we can do with all this space. Oh, this is also just being torn down. Like there's, there's no need for this whatsoever. So again, that's gonna open up some more space here. Probably put a barbecue there. This is a long house story I haven't seen upstairs. Over here, again, bathroom, half a bathroom, I guess. Like there is a toilet there and a sink, but that's just gonna be a laundry utility room. Now, over here, okay, this is the garage. So you can obviously drive in from the front of the house. So if you were a landlord in Dublin, you would turn that into an extra bedroom and put it in an Airbnb, but we're not gonna do that. Maybe it's a five bedroom in that case. <laughs> a lot of sorting needs to be done here, but believe it or not, I've tested it out. My car fits in here, okay? My car can actually come in and drive right in there, the Mercedes, so, I've got somewhere to store my car now. So that's, that's a big win. All right, so that is the ground floor and the outdoor area, which is kind of the main part of the house, but it is an amazing upstairs that I'm gonna show you guys now. So let's go. Again, this was like a random window as well that we've just filled in. It was just a little bit random. And so we're taking all this kind of stuff off as well so that we're just making a really clean contemporary villa. No bits sticking out, you know, and stuff going everywhere. So it's gonna be nice and, nice and clean looking. So again, all these uh, holes are gonna be filled in. So again, like so, here's a little, little preview, but then we're obviously gonna make it all smooth at the end result. And this I think is my favorite part of the house. So we're gonna turn this into a nice lounge area. I was thinking like a little upstairs outdoor gym, like, cause you got the, the shade as well, could be cool. But I think there's so many gyms around the place. Uh, Paddle Club is 200 meters there. Uh, you know, you got M13, UP is right there. The IO, they're just all around the house. We figured that this gets the best sun out of the whole property and it is February right now, okay? 
and it's absolutely roasting so it's going to be it's so hot in Marbella in the in the summer it's crazy best tan you'll ever get but so we're going to make this into an upstairs lounge maybe even have two sun loungers here and an umbrella we were going to have kind of a shade a cover on it but um it kind of looks a little bit messy and it's something we can add on last minute or in a year's time if we want to but we're gonna have maybe just like a nice umbrella and then a lovely little sun lounge area up here maybe a little fridge have some drinks but this is a really cool part of the property and you know if you want you can even have a dj here rob's villa party's pending yeah oh like huge one <laughs> in, in may like bar there dj there dj on the roof oh my god i just realized i can jump off that roof Maybe I'd like to put a diving board up there or something. Sick! Yeah, you know, if you want, you can even have a DJ here. And we're gonna be throwing some huge house parties. So then it kind of overlooks the pool. So it'd be pretty sick. Blaz is definitely excited for that one. May or June, it's looking like. It's gonna be huge. It's gonna be, it's gonna be like the hangover, honestly. This is coming straight off. Like simple as we want to make the house as minimalistic and simple and clean looking as possible. So that's just literally like unscrew that, tear it off. And then, so this is a really cool part that I like. What's up guys, how's it going? Hey, hola. hola. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the upstairs area. That I was gonna make into a walk-in wardrobe. I'm now thinking office space as I don't want a window in my walk-in wardrobe. Could be giving the neighbors a sneak preview. And that contents for OnlyFans only, which I don't have, that was a joke. Now, so I'm thinking office space there. I uh, could also have like a fold-out couch then, so could sleep more people, but we're obviously gonna knock down this bar. I presume the people who owned it, they rent out this part, so they had like a kitchen and a bathroom and a bedroom themselves. So it was an option, you know, smart, entrepreneurial. But I think I might turn this into an office and then have a fold out couch or something for when Louis and Mike come and sleep over. But, um, so yeah, again, this is all gonna be torn out here. And I think it would be really cool to have a desk space just going from here to here, I'd have the natural light coming in here and then have a big, nice monitor because it's pretty big, like, you know, have a big, nice monitor here and it could be like an editing zone. So that would be cool. Um, but yeah, either way, there's a lot to be done with this room and like, you know, there's no, like, are me and Linda ever gonna like just sit here and be like smoking a pipe in a rocking chair? Like, there, there's no need for these. <laughs> maybe someone, maybe someday. Maybe someday. <laughs> and then this is gonna be the second bathroom, or depends if you count the outdoor one, the third bathroom. So again, this is actually, this is a nice big one in here. So we're probably gonna get rid of the bath, just have like a wet room and just make it really nice, clean, white, and modern. So it's kind of perfect as it's right beside the master bedroom, which is the last stop of the house. As you can see, this is the, the master bedroom. Where the magic happens. Yeah, yeah, I'm like... <laughs> another cow? Yeah, yeah, another cow. Uh, so we have Miguel Carlos, that's Jose. Miguel the third. Miguel the tenth of this age. <laughs> More alien oh, no. beings. <laughs> There's me with the blonde yeah. hair. So in here, again, this is definitely the biggest bedroom. We're gonna have the bed facing this way. We got the plug sockets marked out and then a nice big window overlooking the outdoor lounge. So guys, that is it, phase two. I'll be giving regular updates, such as the flooring is gonna be a really big job. When we furnish it, that was gonna be like the end thing. And when we plastered everything, there's just so many steps to go. Like the day I can jump in the swimming pool, that is a vlog in itself. So it's gonna be an amazing journey. Be sure you're subscribed to follow along and please, please, please give the video a thumbs up. It means the absolute world to me. So phase two, well underway, let's get it.